In this video, we will see what is scalar multiplication of vectors and we will further infer some useful results from this multiplication. So let's consider a vector A and let's consider a scalar quantity M. So our objective is to find what is this M vector A. Now, this is going to be a vector and this kind of multiplication is called a scalar multiple of a vector. All right. So let's assume that this is our vector A. And when I multiply this vector with M, the, uh, the magnitude changes, but the direction doesn't change. So this would be my resultant vector B, which is M into A. So if this M is zero, M is zero, the magnitude of MA vector becomes zero and hence MA vector becomes a zero vector. So if M is zero, then your vector B will be zero, zero vector. So it, which means it will become a point here. So it will be a zero vector. And also to find the magnitude of MA, you have to just multiply M with the magnitude of A. The mod M with magnitude of A will give you the magnitude of M A. Let's consider two vectors A and B. Okay. And vector A is, a, is, a multipl is multiplied by vector B with lambda. Lambda is a scalar quantity. So you can see very clearly that they are parallel to each other. So what can we say? Two vectors A and B are said to be parallel if vector A is equal to lambda B, where lambda is a scalar and lambda is, if, if lambda is greater than zero, so let's say if uh, this lambda is greater than zero, then this will be in the same direction as B. But if our lambda was less than zero, then the direction will automatically change because multiplying the vector b with a minus will reverse the direction of this vector. So in scalar multiplication of a vector, lambda will either keep the vector in the same direction or reverse the direction. These are some of the properties and results that we can derive from scalar multiplication. So for any two vectors, vector A and B, and scalars M and N, we have M within brackets N A vector will be equal to M N and within bracket the vector A. And this is also equal to N within bracket M A vector. All right, this is the first result that we can show. And the second is m plus n within bracket a vector is equal to n a vector plus n a vector and the last we can say scalar multiple m into within brackets vector a plus vector b is equal to vector scalar m into vector a plus scalar m into vector b and we can also derive three more results from this. So the first I would say is vector addition is associative, which means if A, B and C are three vectors, A, B, A plus B plus C is equal to A plus within brackets B plus C. So it's associative. And also if you add vector A with a zero vector, then your answer is a and it's also commutative because if you add zero vector plus a then it is again vector a and for any vector a vector a plus minus of vector a would be a zero vector because you will be reversing the ve vector a in the opposite direction so it will come back with the same magnitude of a so it will become a zero vector.
Thank you for watching Math Tutorial Anand. Please like and you can comment if you have any questions and do not forget to subscribe to get more videos like this.